recently, I had made a video on Claudev, which had received many new updates regarding its new features, making it one of the best AI coding agents that's out there, being a great alternative to Cursor while being completely for free. And just like Claudev, Ader also received quite a big update regarding the addition of new LLMs being integrated within its framework, such as the new O1 Mini and the O1 Preview models from OpenAI, as well as Google's Gemini 1.5. 5 Pro and experimental updates, which will greatly enhance your usage of a coding agent such as Ader. For the people who do not know, Ader is an AI pair programmer that you can use within your terminal to create various sorts of things, help you code, help you generate, and so much more. I have so many videos on this, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at those with the link in the description below. Let's first take a look at the new additions with the new Ader version 0.57 update, where there is a support now for the OpenAI O1 models, as well as for the Quen 2.5 and the new Gemini models, which we'll take a look at later on in the video. The new OpenAI O1 preview is actually scoring a 79.7% on the Ader code editing benchmark, which ranks it number one versus other models such as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. With the O1 preview model being linked to a pair programmer like Ader, it can greatly output whatever you would request it within a few iterations. Like in this demo video where someone had built a full 3D Tron light cycles game in under 10 prompts with complete camera panning as well as with collision detection. This is the capability of linking these two together. However, due to OpenAI's pricing, it can get really pricey real quick, so this is something that you would want to keep in mind. But before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Scrimba, an innovative and interactive coding platform. Whether you're a beginner just starting out or an experienced developer, Scrimba is designed to help users of all experience levels improve their coding skills. What sets Scrimba apart is its interactive learning experience. In every lesson, you can directly edit the teacher's code as Scrimba combines a video-like learning experience and a code editor into one. This hands-on approach is a powerful and fun way to learn and master your programming skills. You can explore Scrimba's diverse courses such as JavaScript, Python, HTML, and CSS while working on real projects at the same time to build a robust portfolio. Something I can highly recommend for all of you AI enthusiasts is Scrimba's new AI engineering path, one of the most in-demand developer capabilities for 2024. This 10 hour long crash course has been created in collaboration with leaders in the AI space, including Langchain and Hugging Face. It covers all the essential skills at the cutting edge of this fast changing space and it is designed to help you start building apps powered by generative AI. But that's basically it for Scrimba. Scrimba offers over 60 free and paid courses accessible with the pro subscription. Use my link in the description below to get an additional 20% off for the pro plans. Now, like I said previously, where they also added support for the Quen 2.5 series, which in fact is one of the best open source models that's out there right now, it is really good as an open source model in comparison to something like Llama 3.1, but in terms of coding, it's not that impressive. It scores a 65% on the Ader leaderboard, and basically the Quen 2.5 coder model was able to only score a 52 percent now this is because they haven't released the 32 billion parameter coding based model yet and it's not something that's accessible but at the moment the best open source coding based model would likely be handed over to deep sea coders as they have a better score with their new version uh, 2.1 or 2.5 update that was just recently released now the last model i want to talk about is the addition of the new experimental gemini model which we're going to talk about in a bit because that's mostly going to take up the bulk of this video but before we even get to that i want to mention all the smaller updates that have been released with ader now firstly on windows you can now actually access the powershell or the cmd.exe while executing just a simple run command within your terminal this is something that will be super easy to start up and utilize ader with now in addition to all the other models that were added they also added cohere's newer models and they're basically going to now have it supported with ader 
if you're working on systems without pretty prompts or windows consoles you're going to be able to use Ader with a simpler input prompt so there's also now an improved sanity check for git repositories when you're basically utilizing it during setups or enhancements so that the prompt cache chunking strategy would ensure that there's a smoother performance now here's the main update I really wanted to talk about where ADAR now supports the new Google updated Gemini 1.5 Pro model as well as the Gemini 1.5 Flash which is the experimental 002 models where they offer three distinct features you have a 50% reduction in price which you can see over here you can see that for the Gemini 1.5 Pro uh, for prompts greater than 128k you have a 50% slash which you see over here one dollar and 25 cents now for every uh, one million tokens whereas when it was previously it was three dollars and fifty cents now another great addition is that the gemini 1.5 pro also has another reduction which is for less than 128k tokens which is 64 percent in terms of the price reduction on both input and output tokens so they greatly reduce the pricing they also increase the rate limit for for the 1.5 flash which allows 2000 requests per minute this is also allowing the 1.5 pro to have a thousand rpm now it's two times faster in terms of its output and three times lower latency along with improved performance with tasks like math coding long context processing as well as with vision now in the mmlu benchmark they were able to showcase that there's a seven percent increase within this benchmark and it's actually a 20 percent boost in math benchmarks as well as with coding benchmarks they've also reduced redu uh, the response length by five to twenty percent based on developer feedback focusing on more concise helpful answers now to add on all of this the new experimental model with the gemini 1.5 flash is going to offer improved performance across text and multimodal tasks as well as with coding in essence, if you're looking for a model similar to GPT-4 or with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, but for free of use, the Gemini 1.5 is a great addition. While it's not open source, it is free of charge via the Gemini API's free tier. You can see over here that it's available for testing purposes as well as for regular use case with the Google AI Studio. And you can access these two uh, different models with the rate limit that they have stated over here which is 15 requests per minute you have 1 million tokens per minute and 15,000 requests per the day so in essence they're both basically free making gemini 1.5 a powerful cost effective alternative in relation to many of the models that you would want to use or simply just wanting to use a model that performs nearly on par with OpenAI or anthropics models now if you're interested in trying out these new models definitely watch this video where i showcase how you can install ADAR. it's something that i'll leave in the description below but you can also reference their uh, documentation where they showcase how you can connect these new lms from all different providers from grok all the way to the providers themselves like OpenAI. so if you're interested definitely take a look at this it'll showcase how you can set all of these different apis up within ADAR. but that's practically it for today's video on the new update that ADAR has released this is something that you should definitely stay tuned for and keep an eye out because they're continuously working on improving their framework even further but that's about it guys make sure you take a look at all the links that i use in today's video in the description below follow me on the patreon so that you can access different ai subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and I'll see you guys for very shortly. Peace out, fellas.